Hello YouTube. Uh, back to this Acker TSX. A couple years ago when I do the uh, rug and pinion on this, I don't know that you can remember, but you know, if you follow me a couple years ago when I did the uh, rug and pinion without drop the suffering down, remember that? So this is back here. And today is not going to do something very uh, uh, difficult. Today we'll do the um, power steering pump and the alternator. For some reason is because it leaks so much from the uh, power steering pump and that killed the alternator. So something like this, don't let one thing cost the other. Because if you don't replace the pump, the pump keep leaking then it will cause the AC compressor bad and it will cause the alternators bad you see that so now the alternator is completely dead because the power steering pump is dripped to causing all of this so today I will replace both uh, power steering and the alternator make sure just connect your power first the hose on top here first. Normally this one will drip more because this is a uh, angle like this way. See that? Uh, which way you want to know? You can pull. You can pull the belt like this. Okay, you can pull the belt so you know that the tensioner, this tensioner here. We're moving towards the back of the engine. Okay, pull like this. You pull towards you. So you you know that the belt is losing. Okay, now my belt's loose. And I'm going to change the belt because this belt is terribly bad because <coughs> destroyed by the uh, power steering fluid. So everything is bad, okay? You can see that right here. Terrible, terrible bad. Okay, this is number 12, okay? The top one, and there's another one down here at the bottom, and also number 12, okay? Now, if the, uh, if the, uh, Reservoir was on the way you can you can disconnect like this and leave it aside like that So you can have more room and you're using Electric drill If you don't have one Slowly by hand it sticks And that's came off already. So unplug this. And then this one I will disconnect it when I take this out first. Okay. So right behind here you won't see it. My camera won't see it. But there's only two bolts down here. Okay next to the air, uh, air AC line okay now crack open so I can use my finger so if you have a quarter uh, 12 like this with the swivel you can go through up here and when you break loose you can actually turn this out easier than uh, working down there by hand if you uh, big hand probably I would say recommend it to removing the uh, fan uh, AC fan right here to, um, to get it 
because it's so tight. Other than that, you have to go to uh, the auto part. I bought this uh, um, soy wool from auto part. Pretty, pretty handy if you uh, go for something like this, you know. So I will take this one out, which is number 10. Mm. See that? It's broke. But don't worry, because you're replacing it anyway. So I'll use the impact when something like this happening. So impact will take out easy. Like. Okay. Before you install, make sure you matching everything first. Okay. See that fit, that's the same. The plug is the same. Okay. So everything else looks the same. Um, very important when you buy from auto part. It does not matter you buy a remanufactured one or new one. Always test it. Because if you don't test, sometimes Auto part stuff not always working, okay? So make sure to test first before you even buy it. Alright, that's a part number. In case you want to look online, okay, that's the part number. I think every manufacturer like AutoZone or O'Reilly always have different part number. So don't base on this and then you will find it. And this one is uh, ma remanufactured from Mexico. It's not a new one. It's just a remanufacturer. So sometimes made in Mexico, it doesn't work. I've done it many cars. I know for sure. Uh, sometimes they don't rebuild very good uh, stuff from Mexico. China's the same thing. Okay. Very much is uh, reverse from what you're taking out. Okay core back in first because when you in here kind of tight so you don't have a lot of space I'd rather do it right here like when you take it out and I'm gonna use this right here torque that's good enough don't do too long when you do too long too much torque you can break that uh, copper or bolt right here because this is only 10 millimeter, you know. I can plug this one back in. Uh, the top one first, that's good. Just put a little bit so you can have a play. So when you have play, you can fit the bottom one. You don't force it. When you force, then you uh, miss the thread. You can do it by two finger. One, one turn, one twist. Okay, go like this. Now I have swivel, so I can use a swivel. Well, you can use a uh, a short one. Sure. I went to sear when they close out, and I got this twenty percent off from sear which is not too bad but the price still expensive even though they have a 20% off I still pay like it I think $10 for this and if you have something short like this you can use this one okay and such as you don't have a lot of space you can use a short one like this and go under here go like this
make sure it's tight enough. But this is only 12, so you don't over tight this, you want to break it. The bottom one, the swivel is not strong enough, so I'm going to use this right here to do it. Okay, that's it. I'm going to take this out, and this is socket 17. Pretty tight. If you don't have an impact, it probably you don't, you can't take it out, you know. But with the impact, it's much easier. Okay, so I'm gonna put this right here and lock this one up. Okay, that's good enough. Don't over tight. Um, I don't know how many foot pound, but it's uh, it's not like super super tight on that. This new build is made by Gate, and that part number. Uh, I don't really favor Gate that much. If you can get like international brand, I would recommend international brand better than Gate. I don't know my. I feel like Gate is not as good as. Uh, international but whatever you can find that would be the best or just buy from Honda or Acura they have a better belt I will go to the AC and uh, the crank first before I put the uh, my um, uh, power steam pump because kind of tight down here, I did not tend to go under the car. So I put this uh, on the top here first. When it's fit, we use a speed drill. Remember, don't force it, it doesn't go. If you go, it doesn't go, you force it, then same thing, number 12 only. And plus here's aluminum, so you don't, you don't over tight this. It does have torque on it, but, <clears throat> which is, I just guessing. Okay, new pump, they supply two new o-ring, so always use it because you don't want to um, having the uh, o-ring leak you know sometimes this o-ring is does leak so always your new one make sure it doesn't make sure it doesn't uh, twist if this thing twists, then um, can cause leak. Okay. Okay, hand tight. Make sure not over tight. I'm going to strip this. I use it short like this. So even though you tight and it doesn't have a lot of force, if you can't go on the bottom. You can use something long like this and to try to line up the uh, belt to the crank pulley. That's the only way that you don't have to go on the bottom. Um, you can go the bottom easier. You know? When you do this, make sure it's lined up with the uh, uh, AC and the crank. Want to know how the belt go? You can type Google. Um, looking for the uh, super team belt diagram uh, it show you in there okay so make sure the belt is aligned with the uh, teeth that on the uh, crank and the AC and the power steering 
all that stuff had to be aligned. Okay. Take this out. by hand all right in a Honda and Acura they'd prefer to have a Honda brand and this is a uh, a uh, Honda aftermarket stuff at this point here you don't really have to have a Honda one because I know that the rugged pinion is no longer a Honda and the power steering pump is no longer a Honda, so it don't really matter no more. Okay. Because if if still original, then yeah, of course you have to have a Honda. But now it's not Honda no more. Then you don't have to have a Honda. All right, let's go test. So make sure you top this off before you uh, bleed it. Okay, to bleed it, just, just do a turn by turn all the way and then go this way all the way and leave the uh, reservoir caps open. Keep going maybe four or five times. Okay. So now just closing the cap, and that's it for the uh, power steering pump. So let's test to see if the alternator is charging. So I have this digital uh, light tester, and also read the gauge, and uh, you can use this right here. So now it's charging about 13.9. So normally a car like this should be charged about 13.9 to 14 uh, volts. So it's pretty good. It's charging normally. Okay. All right. So everything works. And um, thank you for watching for the whole video. Please help me subscribe. Okay. Bye bye now. See you guys next video.